Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for... Uh, this is your bonus November reading, actually. This is going to be um, a love bonus reading. And we're just going to jump right in here, Virgo. Uh, I'm going to be using, like, a Lenormand spread. I actually did this spread once already, but uh, I've kind of changed some of the meanings, some of the things that each position represents. But it's a nine-card spread. Uh, each card is going to represent something different. And uh, when I get to the cards... I will tell you uh, what each one represents here, Virgo, but uh, let's see. Uh, you start off here with this Ace of Wands here, and this is in the area of what you fear to get yourself as far as love is concerned. Uh, Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, and really going for what you desire. <laughs> so on a, very, like, on a very simple level here, Virgo, I do feel like this could be saying that what you are fearing is what you desire. In, in a relationship, I do feel like this is pretty much very normal, um, you know, for people to fear what they desire to have, because it's like, um, let's say you don't want to get married, for example, and everybody does want to get married. It's like you could be fearing that if you expose this to a person, that they're not going to love you, or you could be fearing that you're not going to find a person who maybe wants to be together but separate, for example, right? Maybe that's what you desire to have. So the Queen of Wands in the area of fear could say that you are fearing that. Maybe you do want to get married, and there's like a million reasons to um, fear that, right? But also, maybe you fear that uh, maybe you want something more traditional, right? Maybe you want to get married, and maybe you want to be you want to be a stay at home mom, right? And everybody everybody hates on that nowadays. Like it's a big, you know. I, I don't judge. Like whatever you want to do, I feel like people should live however they want to live, and you shouldn't listen to anyone else, right? Um, so maybe you fear that. But maybe it's a fear, right? Uh, maybe you fear that. Maybe you want to have a career, and maybe you're afraid if you expose that to a person that they won't want, won't want to be with you, um, which I don't think is true. So I feel like some of you, this reading is like, uh, you know, it's kind of like saying uh, you need to not fear what you truly desire to have, whatever whatever that means for you, because you will find a person uh, who also has very similar desires here. Uh, next in the area of what you want but feel that you have lost, you have the emperor here. Some of you, I mean, could literally be feeling that you have lost your emperor. Maybe you feel like you have lost the person who kind of feeds energy in to you the emperor he you know he sits above the empress and he has water behind him here it's going to be kind of hard to see that water that is behind him but that water uh kind of goes down to the empress the empress has a waterfall behind her he is the one who kind of protects the domain and she is the one who um kind of is creative and you know it creates abundance and all this other stuff right and uh, i feel like some of you could fear that that you have lost something that like maybe provided energy for you in a relationship it could be the person uh, you could also feel that you are have or have lost direction as far as love is concerned it's like you know having the emperor in this position could say that what you are fearing about love is maybe you thought you had answers about love whatever that means for you and maybe you, maybe you have been proven wrong or maybe you just can't prove yourself right <laughs> and i feel like that's what you are fearing there uh, next in the area of what you wish could come true in love is the Eight of Pentacles. Pretty straightforward. Eight of Pentacles, as far as a wish is concerned, is pretty direct. Eight of Pentacles says you are hoping that you can put a certain amount of energy into a relationship and you're going to get that energy out. Eight of Pentacles is like direct cause and effect. If I put this much work in to a relationship, the other person is going to match me at least halfway, right? So I feel for some of you, that is like your wish, that you wish you could just put energy in. If we look at this whole top row here, we have the Queen of Wands, Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, very direct, straightforward energy. It has like, you know, this to me is common goal energy as well here, Virgo. Uh, to me, a common goal is pretty simple. It's like you uh, meet a person where you have shared interests, you have a shared goal that you are working towards, you put in the work and make it happen. So I kind of feel like that's what you could be hoping for as love, as far as love is concerned. Uh, next, you have in the area of what you think you need, but you actually don't, you have the King Knight of Wands, sorry. So the Knight of Wands could say that you think that you need to be more adventurous. Maybe you feel like you need more energy, or maybe you feel like there's some sort, I'm kind of getting more mis mystery here. He has these um, pyramids down below. There are these three pyramids in the bottom corner there of the Knight of Wands. They represent mysteries. So I feel like some of you feel that there's some sort of mystery 
in love. I do feel like there are mysteries in love, but <laughs> I feel like you feel like there's some sort of mystery that needs to be overcome. He's also like the builder in the tarot as well. So it, this could say that you feel like your life has not been built up to a certain point where you can allow love into your life. But again, this is showing up in the area of what you uh, what you think you need that you don't. So I don't think I think you're actually in a much better position than you realize. Uh, next in the area of your uh, what you desire the most, you have the Three of Pentacles. We kind of already know this because of the Eight of Pentacles showing up in your reading as well. Very similar energies. Um, Three of Pentacles in love. Actually, one of my favorite love cards because it is a card of like putting in the work and it's teamwork. It's true teamwork, you know. It represents true teamwork. It also represents following a plan here. We can see several cards. Uh, Emperor, Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles here, and even the Hierophant as well down here. These are all cards that can represent following or sticking to a, some sort of plan, right? And I feel like that's kind of like what you desire the most is to get into a relationship that at least kind of sticks to a plan um, or maybe where you have shared motives. Like I said, that's popping to my head as being very important. Three of Pentacles is also meant to represent fun. She has these polka dots on her cloak here, and polka dots in the tarot represent fun. Every single sign that I've done today has had like some sort of message of, of like needing to have fun or having a very strong desire to have fun with the person that you're with. That makes a lot of sense to me, but um, you know, definitely like a very good energy. Uh, you also, uh, next, I should say, so I feel like that's what you desire the most, someone who follows a plan. Next in the area of what you actually do need that you don't know you need, you have the Six of Cups. More fun. <laughs> six of Cups, uh, you know, can be thinking about the past. It can represent a person from the past, but in this position here, I feel like what it's talking about is more like childlike energy. There are two children on the Six of Cups here. They represent innocence and nostalgia. Sometimes when they come up in a love reading like this, I feel what it is trying to say, like the advice that is giving you, Virgo, is to be more childlike in a relationship, to have more fun, to not be too serious. Pretty much every single sign has had a message similar, similar to this. I do feel like it, when we have been in a serious energy for too long, we become too serious. I blame COVID. It's like, you know, again, very serious energy. Everything is serious, right? So when we get stuck in that, we become too stiff. We become not flexible enough. We become too focused on something that is too serious, right? And I'm not saying, again, um, you know, I always have some joker in the comments that are like, I'm not going to date someone who isn't serious. I'm a very serious person, like a robot. I'm always like, oh, okay, enjoy being single, right? But what I would say here is we have to have fun. We have to, uh, you know, enjoy ourselves. Nobody wants to be with someone who is like too serious, right? So I feel like you need to have f as much fun as you possibly can. Uh, when you're dating or meeting new people, I feel like you need to kind of like focus on the childlike energy as well in a relationship. Like what's the real reason you want to be with a person? Do you want to be with a person so you can be serious or do you want to be with a person so you can enjoy life so that you can have shared experiences and things like that? That's probably what you really want. Uh, next in the area of how you feel about your life currently, Four Pentacles, boring. Uh, every day is the same, right? <laughs> I have that song popping into my head. I don't remember who that is. One of those bands, right? Uh, but I feel like it, uh, somebody will know who I'm talking about. Chris Cornell, uh, but whatever his band was. Uh, Nine Inch Nails, I think, is the band, okay? Uh, but I feel like every day is the same with the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like currently you're hoping to break free. Um, even if we look at this first diagonal here, or the second diagonal, I should say, Four of Pentacles, it's like where you are right now, it's like things are fine, but everything is the same. Three of Pentacles, wanting teamwork, having a dream as well. The thing about the Three of Pentacles is that there is a water triangle down here, right here. So there's a fire triangle up here, which is like the actions that you have taken, and there's a water triangle down here. Like the water triangle aspect of the three of pentacles represents something a little bit extra it's like you know something you're dreaming of something that you'd like to manifest down on earth something more than what has already been built so again in this row here it's like things are a little bit boring you're looking for teamwork and you're also looking for a person where if you put the work in with the eight of pentacles they that you um what you're looking for is to also see results again eight of pentacles is a little tricky because it's material success on the horizon but in a love reading again like i said it's like you do work in in the relationship you're hoping that you see the results of that work in the future whether that's spending time with a person you know invent, investing romantically with a person whatever it is doesn't matter you're hoping to to see a return. 
And finally, uh, or actually, I skipped a card again. Uh, next in the area of what will motivate you to uh, find love, you have the tower. Um, <laughs> some of you, I I just feel like this is referring to COVID um, in general. It's like maybe um, th through the whole COVID experience of being alone or maybe you've been isolated, maybe you're saying to yourself, I don't want to be alone. I want to, again, have shared experiences, which is a word that keeps popping into my head for you uh, here, Virgo. I feel like you're hoping to have shared experiences, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful thing, right? Being able to share experiences with another person, being able to have fun, being able to enjoy yourself with another person. It's so much better with another person there, right? So I feel like, you know, maybe what is motivating you to find love, the tower is some sort of tower moment, maybe the isolation of COVID as well. Uh, some of you could, you know, if, if it's not that, the tower doesn't have to be a big deal. It can just represent having a sudden realization or realizing that you actually do want love in your life. So it could just be a realization. And then finally here for what will improve your life the most right now, you have the higher fence marriage. <laughs> so for those of you that are hoping to get married, this could be just saying that marriage is going to be an improvement on your life. That doesn't have to be true though. Um, it could just be that going through some sort of rite of passage could be the thing that will improve your life the most. The Hierophant is like outside the box thinking. And I feel like for some of you, the Hierophant could actually be saying that what will improve your life the most as far as love is concerned is outside the box thinking and doing things that you've never done before as far as love is concerned. Um, it's pretty obvious to me. Um, like I've said to other signs, it just seems to me that the universe really wants people to just have experiences as far as love is concerned. And uh, I feel like that's kind of like what's going on here. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the uh, Queen of Wands, you have the um, Hangman uh, gaining a new perspective in love. I do feel like there could be a Pisces coming in for some of you. Uh, for some of you, it could be like Pisces or an Aries. Um, this whole first section here, these three cards, are that is that is Pisces, Aries, if I haven't ever seen it. <laughs> so, um, you know, what I would say for some of you is like, it could be a Pisces, could be an Aries that's coming in for you. This is just a general reading. So, you know, it could be any sign. But I feel like that hangman is more talking about you gaining a new perspective uh, as far as love is concerned. We saw this he down here as well with the tower. Um, you know, with the tower, it's like I feel like something has happened that has changed your perspective on love. Maybe you didn't want it, now you do. Maybe you wanted it a certain way, and now you want it a different way as well. It could just be a change. With the emperor, you have the magician. I feel like you can have whatever you want here. With the magician, you can attract whatever you desire to have into your life. So use your powers of manifestation. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Judgment card here as well. So I feel like you're waking up to something here, discovering your purpose. I almost kind of see this as blocks in my head. It's almost like Jenga, you know, the game Jenga, Virgo, but I'm seeing it in reverse. It's almost like, the, you know, the Jenga blocks have been stacked. I feel like a block is being pushed in and making the tower actually more stable in your life. And I'm seeing that right here. I'm seeing that with the Judgment card and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, what the hell does that mean? I feel like maybe because you're discovering uh, something else in life, like maybe you're discovering your purpose, it's like because that block is being put back in, it's kind of like allowing other things to be built on top of it. So it's like if you discover your purpose, maybe it's the thing that is allowing love to be built on top of your life, if that makes sense. It's not saying you were incomplete or anything like that before. I think it's just saying that there's like an energetic change, maybe because you're discovering something like your purpose, maybe you're finding your dream job or something like that. And it's like, because of that, it's kind of like changing your environment, changing your circumstances, and that change is what could be bringing love into your life. With the uh, Knight of Wands here, you have the Six of Wands. I feel like you need, I, I, like, I feel like part of me feels like you don't realize how much attention you get, number one. <laughs> so if you're out there saying nobody loves me, um, I, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of attention for you here, Virgo. I feel like you could be getting a lot of attention as well. I feel like you need to realize that. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords here, some sort of victory, some sort of truth coming in for you here. I also feel like there's a lot of communication uh, coming in for you. Really good for online dating, by the way. So if you're looking for love, the Ace of Swords is always a good card for online dating. Kind of feel like that's just uh, communication coming in for you here. I feel like you need to realize also like the challenges are over. You know, the sword is above the mountains on the Ace of Swords here. It doesn't mean that you won't ever experience any challenges again. 
but it does represent the fact that you will easily be able to overcome any challenges that come your way, and I feel like you need to realize that. With the Six of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles here as well. So you have the Eight of Pentacles twice. I feel like you're putting in the work. Again, what I would say here is like work hard, play hard, right? With the Six of Cups and the two, um, uh, Eight of Pentacles here. I almost said the Two of Pentacles. Uh, that would be a very similar energy to have the Two of Pentacles there. But um, I feel, you know, the Two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard. But I feel that same energy here. I feel like it's saying it's okay to put the work into the relationship. It, like when, when you get into one, if you're not in one already, it's okay to want to work on the important things. But make sure you're also having these like super positive shared experiences. I feel like that's like probably... Without even clarifying to the end here, Virgo, I feel like the, the most important thing here is like if you can find a person where you're having positive shared experiences with that person, it's like that is your person, <laughs> right? I mean, most people spend a lifetime looking for that, um, you know, looking for a person where they can do things together and they both enjoy those things and they both grow through the experiences. It's more like this, you know, um, is a way that I, I see it in my weird brain. Um, it's like I, I see two types of relationships, this right here, button heads, right? And then I see positive shared experiences where it's like you're building each other up. You're like, it's not two people who are kind of competing. And I think that's maybe part of the problem with modern day relationships and why they don't last is it's like both people are trying to do something to not end the relationship. And if that makes sense, or both people just come in competing in the first place. So I feel like if we can get more into this space right here, <laughs> uh, it'll be much, much better for love in the future. With the Four of Pentacles, we have the Death card. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Although I have to say, just intuitively, I feel like some of you have dealt with a Scorpio in the past that you are w moving away from or walking away from that energy. Feels a little bit toxic to me. So it's not going to be true for all of you. F for some of you, I feel like you were dealing with a Scorpio who's toxic. And it's like you're moving past that energy. Uh, with the tower here, you have the king of wands. You always get fire in your readings as well, which is pretty interesting. So it could be a fire sign that's coming in for you in love if you desire to have love. Uh, for others, I feel like this is talking about your desires. Um, king, and king and queen of wands here. You have the queen of wands up here behind the hangman. Then you have the king of wands right here. This is like divine counterparts with a, a very strong connection. I mean, to me, the king and queen of wands together are two people who truly desire each other. So I feel like you could be attracting someone where it's like there's a, just a lot of just raw natural attraction between the two of you that obviously is not a bad thing with the hierophant you have the eight of swords here and i feel like you need to set yourself free here this is the area of what will improve your life the most and you have the hierophant and the eight of swords literally being stuck inside the box i mean if there was ever a combination of cards that would represent inside the box thinking i mean the hierophant alone is a card of being stuck inside the box the Eight of Swords just adds to that, right? It's like saying you could be putting yourself in some sort of box in life without even realizing it. We all do this. And by removing yourself from this, um, whatever the box is, then uh, it's going to open up like the world of love to you here. It's kind of like what I feel intuitively, Virgo. So it's like this box could be anything. Maybe you live in a certain um, location and maybe you say to yourself, I'm a X. Maybe you're like, I'm a Californian or something like that. But it's like you're limiting yourself by putting that label on yourself. I would be careful with any like labels or anything that you're putting on to yourself here. I don't think we need to be like paranoid freaks. I know like some people are like paranoid freaks about the labels, but I would look at the labels, you know, how you are labeling yourself. I think like changing that will allow you to attract a better person and will attract better love. Again, very interesting because none of the love readings that I've done for this month so far have been about love. <laughs> I know I just talked about love that entire time. I feel like the love readings I've been doing this month have been more about you, you as a person. And the good news is, is that the changes you're making now as a person are, that's going to be the thing that attracts love into your life. So I find it interesting that like all the readings this month have been about like what to do to attract love into your life. That wasn't my intention, um, you know, as far as doing these readings was concerned. It was, you know, what love is coming in. Um, but I haven't really found that. And again, I just go with the flow. You know, I go with whatever the energy wants. So uh, that's what I've done. But pretty good reading here, Virgo. So uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your month.